Hello, this is a short video demonstrating how to disable FLRP lock. There is that um, kind of screen that comes on after you have resetted your phone, which requires you to to sign back your email. And some people have actually got out of problem with it because they don't remember their email or their password. So before you reset your phone, I'm going to show you the settings you can disable in order that when you reset your phone, your email will not, your phone will not ask you to resign in your email again. You can actually be having a phone of a friend you want to reset or you want to set it off and you just want to reset your phone without signing again when it, when it has restarted. So there are a few settings in Samsung. Actually, it applies to most of the Android phones. I'm going to show you. One you, one you have to know is FLRP is a factory reset protection. So if you reset your phone, it is going to always ask you to sign back, whether you do hard reset using the buttons or you say you reset from the settings. The, so the first thing you have to do, if you have a password in your phone, you have to come and disable it. Good enough, this one doesn't have a password. But after removing the password, there are some other few settings you can turn off one is your gmail gmail is that email you sign in with your play store with your emails so you always have to sign it out in order to prevent that lock to come again so you can come and disable it from settings uh, you come to accounts after accounts you come to still accounts you see all the accounts you have so these are the accounts in this phone, WhatsApp, uh, whatever. But the crucial one is this one. So when you click on it, there is a remove button. So you can remove it from here. Some phones actually ask for the password. Others, they actually fail to remove, to, for the account to, to remove. If the account has failed to remove, you come under settings still, you go about phone, here you look for, uh, you can go to software information. Then there is a, a button called building number. So here there is a, a kind of settings they call developer mode. You can actually go deeper into the firmware and the, in hidden settings of your phone under developer mode. But you have to first enable developer mode. You, develop, you enable developer mode when you place under build number for seven times and actually when you you enable developer mode the pop-up or the setup for developer mode will show up here it will be here so right now it's not here but after enabling it it's going to come on so you come under developer mode and you press consecutively for seven times you see what it says you are three steps away from being a developer you continue until it says developer mode has been turned on so after it has been turned on you come back you find it here so under developer mode you can modify a lot of settings a lot picture colors a lot you can enable debugging uh, a lot there are many functions you can do here you can turn on wi-fi you can change many things actually this is like looting some kind so you come to which this is this has a setting called OEM unlock. So if you enable this set up settings, this is what they call device protection function not to will not work and sensitive apps including Nox and Samsung Play will be disabled if you use a custom OS. So if you turn this one on, even if you reset your phone, it will not ask you for factory reset protection. And it's always good to enable debugging. So in case you need to root it or to flash a custom ROM, it's always enabled. So right now, if you reset our phone, it's going to work perfectly. If you don't want to go to do that, you can actually come. That is where they said uh, device manager here. Mm, wait. Uh, there is actually where 
uh, that is um, let me say I've forgotten where it is where you have a uh, find my phone when it is enabled I've forgotten where it is but what you should know if you have disabled uh, when you have enabled OM, OAM unlocking under developer mode your phone will not ask for will not actually uh, activate the FLRP so let's go on and reset it now factory data reset we are resetting this phone because we are going to install a new firmware and I'm going to show you how to install new firmware on this is an S6 no Samsung S7 edge this way, this way. Let's, re let's reset it I might forward you this process of resetting because it takes a lot of time So you see now after resetting uh, the screen comes on by this button is highlighted the next button if you actually don't do those set if you don't disable those settings this button is going it's not going to be highlighted and for you to press next you resolve to sign back with your email so right now it is highlighted and I can just press next the skip button it pops up then I say skip uh, all the settings will come on I agree to all continue you see have to set date uh, next uh, no thank you skip skip mm, accept I'll skip skip uh, don't restore cancel finish so it's done now okay guys that's what I wanted to show you so if you enjoyed this video and you you have any questions you can comment them and don't forget to subscribe